Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I'm coming to you with your oracle uh, forecast, your weekly oracle forecast, and you can use this reading to answer any question that you've been, that you have, something that's been at the top of your mind, a particular energy that you're dealing with, something that you need clarification with. So we're working today with Alana Fairchild's oracle cards, and we have here the Crystal Mandala cards, which is your deck one. The Earth Warriors, um, which is your deck two, and the Sacred Rebels, which is your deck three. So go down to the description box below where you'll find your timestamp and go directly to your reading. Uh, for those of you who are waiting on me to come back with pick card readings, well, I just want to let you know the time isn't right as yet. Um, the energy is very transformative at the moment and very, uh, very much working towards uh, alleviating us or bringing us through a, a portal to a new dimension, to a new dimension, a new world within ourselves, a new world in which we can create as a result of where we've come from. And a lot of the energies of the picker card readings, the uh, not the oracle ones, but you know, like uh, is he thinking of me or is she going to contact me and all those kind of readings are really just. Um, it's very stagnant energy and it, it keeps one, you know, in a place and it doesn't really want allow one to move forth. And yeah, I always try to do these type of readings with a healing um, uh, aspect to it and with a transformation kind of aspect to it. Um, but right now I, I've just been, I've not been able to sit down and do those. Uh, I have been thinking about them a lot and I've been wondering how I could get them out to you. And what I might try doing is uh, doing a pick a card reading on more uh, transformational issues, um, like what shall I get rid of at this moment, what I need to let go of, uh, or you know what I need to do to uh, move past this, or how do I how do I get over this? I might I might uh, do something like this. I'm just brewing on that right now, and if I feel like uh, it's right to do that, then I'll go ahead. And record something like that in the next uh, weeks. So, uh, yeah, I will come back with pick a card readings, uh, the the general love type ones and work career type ones uh, later on. And uh, if I feel inclined, that is, and if I feel the energy is right, and um, yeah, and I will I will try to get you an energy forecast as well because I do find what's going on with the energy right now to be really interesting. It's quite radical in the way in which it's impacting us. And we can really use this to run with it and, and create real change and real transformation in our lives in a way that will impact us uh, positively and uh, for the longer term. Like it, it could impact us for the next few decades. And uh, I'm not just talking about your Uranus and, Tra and Taurus transit. I'm talking just generally uh, speaking, uh, not from an astrological point of view, but simply from an energy point of view. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get right into this reading. For those of you who haven't yet chosen, you have your deck one, deck two, and deck three. So I'm going to go ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and begin with the deck one here. All right. And I am asking, what is the advice? What is the, what is, what are those that are drawn to this deck here need to hear in today's reading? What is it that you've come here to hear? What is it that you need to hear today? Okay, this feels right. So uh, what we have here is we have the goddess Durga and Hematite. And the card is uh, the number 52. And it's called the Spear of the Guru Mother. And it's the Crystal Goddesses 888. Okay, so the first thing I'm getting here is that um, whatever you're going through right now, you will be supported by using a protection stone. So your protection stones are the hematite, they are obsidian, black obsidian, and they are black kyanite. Uh, there are other protection stones as well, but these are the basic uh, stones that can protect you 
and keep you sealed in a way that doesn't allow you to leak energy and just um, assist you to stay on your path and not to uh, come off balance due to others um, trying to sway you in whichever way they may try to do that. So that's the first thing I'm hearing here, that uh, having some kind of protection would be of benefit to you. If you're not into stones and if you uh, or you don't have any um, at your disposal and you don't necessarily want to purchase one or, or more than one, um, then go ahead and use some salt. Salt basically is also a protective force. Um, you know, you can sprinkle some in your home or you can uh, keep some in a pouch with you in your handbag or in your pocket and uh, it, it also has a protective and grounding force to it and the other thing uh, that you could t potentially use is some cloves so you don't need to burn these cloves uh, I'm not talking about cloves of garlic I'm actually talking about cloves themselves and so um, you could just take one or two of them and, and keep them with you uh, when you're going out and uh, they also have a protective and healing uh, force and it, it kind of envelops you in this kind of force of healing so that's the the first thing I'm hearing right now that uh, you need to be proactive about the protection that you need to to take right now that it's going to be very useful in guiding you in helping you get through this in helping you to bridge the next few weeks that the next two to three weeks are going to be important um, in terms of your of your development and that you are vulnerable and fragile at this moment and it will be to your benefit to take whatever protection you may need. Um, the other thing I'm hearing here is that if you do ask for protection, um, ask for it from yourself or from your higher beings or uh, etc. But don't ask um, another healer or another person to protect you or to send healing to you. This may also work to your detriment at this moment. Okay, so that those are the very basic messages I'm hearing here. Um, the other thing I'm hearing is that uh, as you go forth, you'll be making some huge changes in your life. So um, the changes that you're making right now are not necessarily going to be appreciated by those around you. And uh, their dissonance may actually impact the success of whatever it is that you're embarking upon. So if you say... Uh, well, I've decided to move out, I've decided to move to another city or another country. Um, those around you, your friends, your family, your co-workers, uh, they may, well, not be very happy about your decision. And in expressing their, uh, their dissatisfaction at your decision, they may actually be sending you an energy that's not going to be necessarily supportive of the decisions that you're taking right now. And it doesn't have to be in huge decisions that you're taking. It's not only the large ones that have the most impact, but it might be something small and simple. Um, it might be that you decide to change your hair color or you decide to swap from wearing um, trousers to, to dresses or skirts or uh, if you, you, know, you guys watching this, um, you know, think of an example that suits um, the male attire. But basically, um, it's something that you're doing that you're wanting to push your head through and you're wanting to spear ahead with. And just the, uh, the others will come, well, the energy of others may be perceived and may be received as being contrary to what it is that you focus on right now. So this may have uh, many reasons. They may It may be protection. They may be wanting to be protective of you. It may be because they are jealous of you. It may be because they simply don't want to lose you or miss you. They just don't want to lose their friend or they 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 just, you know, they really don't want to, to, to see you go uh, or, or see something about you change because it, it um, impacts their own stability and it, it impacts ultimately their own uh, sense of security. But uh, what I'm hearing is that you're going to be quite susceptible to this kind of energy. And this is where you need to be careful. And actually, with regard to these stones, those stones will help you. But also being aware of it. You know, if you're getting a sense that you uh, that you, the people around you are not really in alignment uh, with you and the choices that you're making or the decisions that you've taken, 
And if you're getting the sense that, you know, there is a little bit of distance between you and friends, or there is a, a, a different feeling, a queer feeling, um, not queer in that sense, but queer, as, uh, you, a different kind of feeling, a strange feeling, um, you know, it boils down to this. There, there is a resistance of change. And uh, as long as there's a resistance of change, this will impact you uh, negatively. So for those of you who are not changing anything and simply just going about life and just coming here for a message and you're wondering, what is this about? Well, I would say for you uh, that it's important at this moment to focus on success. Success is really something that you are needing to head towards and put all your energy into. And uh, the time is ripe for you to be successful at whatever it is that you put your mind to at this moment. And I feel that the next two to three weeks is what we're talking about here. I could actually extend to like four to six weeks, but I'm feeling that for most of you, we're talking about the next two to three weeks from the time at which you watch this video. The other thing I'm hearing here for those of you who are not having change, not having transformation, is that you need to be much more disciplined with what you're doing right now. And I feel like this is a message that came up last week as well. But um, you need to be extraordinarily disciplined with what it is that you want to achieve, where, what it is that you want to do. And so if you're actually just thinking about something, you're thinking about how you could uh, make some changes or what you could do differently, you need to actually sit down and give yourself a proper brainstorming session about it and, and actually just put it out there and work with it uh, in a diligent manner and in a consistent and uh, a consistent manner. Take whatever it is that you need to do, even if it is a personal project, and treat it as if it's a job that you're doing. And be as professional as you would be in that job uh, with regard to your personal goals as well. And then you're going to see the success that you're see seeking right now. So to summarize, for those of you who've chosen this deck here, uh, protection is of quite a great deal of importance right now. Use stones, use salt, use cloves, or a light, a prayer. Um, the other thing is uh, focus on your goals. This is a great time for you to uh, um, spring forth uh, and be very productive. It's a great time to absorb information, to strategize, to actually um, make changes that are going to be long lasting. And the, the, the other thing I've heard here is that um, don't, don't let others uh, and their opinions or their uh, lack of enthusiasm uh, uh, come in the way of what it is that you actually are seeking and where it is that you're hoping to get to. All right. So there is my message for those of you who have chosen this um, deck here today. And I'm just going to move on to the next one now. So for those of you who've chosen the second deck here, we are asking, what is your message for today? What is it that you need to hear at this moment? What is it that you need to hear at this moment? Okay. Feels like some of these cards are almost there, but they're not quite. So this is why I've gone on shuffling. Ah, oh, this is it. And we have Palikmana. Palikmana. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I hope I am. And the number is number six. And the card title is Medicine of the Butterfly uh, Kachina. Kachina, I think that is what it is. So I'm not familiar with these uh, goddesses, warriors, or the mythology. Um, so forgive my ignorance uh, with regard to that. Uh, but I'm going to channel a message for you now. Okay, so we have the butterfly again. And at the beginning of this reading, I talked about the energy at the moment and I spoke about transformation. And I feel that that is actually something that's quite relevant to you right now as well. There's this transformation that you're going through right now and it's actually beautiful. And it has this, you know, it, it kind of like going through this. It's like walking, it's like journeying through a kaleidoscope. And as you journey through the kaleidoscope, you're going to see things 
that you may think are the truths. You may think um, that this is what I'd like to do or that is what I'd like to do. Uh, so if you are um, making a, ch a career choice at the moment, you're trying to figure out what it is that you need to do with your life. As you walk through this moment, as you transform right now, as you go through this process, you're going to come to, you know, you're going to have various views or various ideas of what you should be doing, what you think you could do, what you would be good at. And for a moment, it will feel really right and it will feel like it resonates, but it might be fleeting. And a few days later, you might feel that it's something else that you need to be doing. And this may not just apply to you. That's just an example, like your career, your work. But actually, this may apply to anything in your life. Like, it might apply to your love life. Like you might th think you're seeing something right now and at that moment it feels really right. But then that might change just a few minutes later or a few days later, a few hours later, you might feel, oh no, now I'm feeling something different. And this is the moment that you're going through right now is a moment where it's constantly changing. It's constantly transforming and there's nothing set here. There's nothing set in stone. So the first advice that comes from this is don't make any decisions based on what you're seeing as you are walking this path right now because walking as you walk this path your view is changing in the way that a kaleidoscope changes and it might seem beautiful and resonant and and exactly what you need or attractive you might be drawn to it but it isn't exactly what it is that you need to be doing right now you need to still take a bit of time before you it comes to the final, you know, the final image of where you truly need to be, which where you truly need to be with regard to your love life, what decisions, what action you need to take there, where you truly need to be in terms of your career and what it is that you need to be pursuing right now. And yes, I know this might feel like it's been going on forever and that it's just not getting there and you don't really know, you don't know what's going to happen with regard to your work and you don't know what's going to happen with regard to your love. And Please apply this to whichever area of your life that you've be, you've come here to seek advice for. I'm just using those two examples because that's what's um, coming to me at this moment. Um, but whatever it is, it's changing rapidly and you can't really see where it is that you need to go to right now. And these are just ideas that are coming up and they're beautiful ideas and they're showing you your capacity and they're showing you the, the capacity of the relationship or where it could go to with that particular person or with that particular place or that particular house that you're seeking or that, you know, those particular job options that you're looking at uh, or countries that you want to move to. It, it's like all of these things uh, that it might apply, all of these things might apply to you or one of them or maybe none of them. But whatever it is um, that's happening to you right now, what you need to recognize is that these beautiful pictures that you're seeing right now are fleeting and they actually have little to do with your final destination, but that this path that you're walking on right now, this process where you're at right now is equally important. If not, it's very significant that you go through this process and don't be uh, frustrated or try to avoid um being frustrated about the fact that it's taking so long and you can't see the final destination and you don't know where you're going to because this is something that's going to it's going to pass you know it's going to come to an end but this this actual journey this road this short road that you're walking right now is an extremely important part of that final step that you will take and that final decision that you will take all right um the the in a, simple, in a simple way, uh, if none of those messages are uh, applying to you because you're not really going through this and you're not really seeing these images or you're not really, uh, your mind's not flitting from one uh, kind of image or idea to another and you're simply just going through your life, I want to say that um, this moment, the changes that are taking place right now are on a, on, a, on a deeper level, they are on a subconscious level, they're on a soul level and it's it's allowing you to breathe um, more de deeply or more deeply. It's allowing you to see uh, more brightly. It's allowing you to inject uh, a whole new um, f kind of life into yourself, in which you can experience more, where your sensual, your senses are going to become more uh, awakened or more um, distinct in what they're experiencing, what they're feeling right now. And it's like um, it's like the first time you bite into a, an apple or a peach. 
and the juices are flowing to your mouth and you are actually experiencing this on so many different levels you know you're experiencing it in your in your brain you experience it on your, on your teeth and your mouth and your tongue and your on your um in your digestive juices that are released in your saliva and you're experiencing it on so many different levels and the the message for you is that you are this is what you're going through right now you're going you are going to be injecting a whole new life into you breathing a whole new life into the life that you currently have and you're going to be experiencing things at a whole new de level at a much more at a much richer level and a more um sensuous level and it feels a lot more um uh indulgent for, for me it feels quite indulgent quite hedonistic and quite um quite delicious actually so go on and just experience what you're experiencing right now and um the the one thing i want to say about this energy and what you're experiencing right now or the, your message that you've come here to hear is that this is transient this will pass this is a moment of your life and yeah you yes you can say this for every thing in your life at every moment but this particular phase that you're experiencing right now it has an end point and you will reach that end point. So enjoy what you're experiencing right now and don't feel that you're in a hurry to get to your next uh, destination. All right, so that's the message for those of you who've chosen this um, deck here, which I believe are the Earth Warrior cards by Alana Fairchild. And for those of you who've chosen the last deck here, which is the Sacred Rebels um, Oracle cards by Alana Fairchild, this is your third option. The question we're asking today is, ooh, what is it that you need to hear today? What is it that you've come here to hear today? Oh, I'm just going to give it another shuffle here. And the question we're asking once again is, what is it that we need? What is it that you need to hear today? And I'm going to go with this card here that's just kind of come out. So here, the card that we have here is a number 38, right? And the caption is Restore and Replenish. Mm. And um, yeah, so these are once again are the Alana Fairchild Sacred Rebels cards, okay? And for me, this the message here is really obvious. It's really very clear. You're in a space right now where you need to be doing less and just recovering. You need to recuperate. You need to take time out to actually separate yourself from others and take what you need. This is a time for you to reflect completely upon yourself, to really, really focus inward and to keep out the chatter of others, but to go inward and to rest, rest and rejuvenate yourself. And this may also mean keeping a cleaner diet, drinking teas, uh, trying to detox, uh, dr drinking teas that are, you know, caffeine free and, and just try to replenish yourself on some level, trying to keep your diet um, you know, healthy, you know, foods which have prana, which have chi, which have life force, uh, eating simply, eating less, uh, to, to not to starve yourself or, or anything like this, but simply just eating in a more uh, um, kind of a circumspect way. I don't know why they're giving me that word, but uh, the word I'm getting here is circumspect. Be circumspect about your food. Uh, eat in a way that's very um, present and very mindful. So you're chewing each morsel and you're very aware of uh, it and uh, you will feel fuller. But really just take all the time you need right now to rest. And this is you cannot go forward unless you do this, all right? So what I'm hearing here is that you you have goals and you have things that you want to get to and you want to, you want, there are things that you need to get to at some point and you know that you need to do these things. And some of these things may be things that you should have done or, or already or you should have accomplished that a while ago already. But just put that on the back burner at the moment and take this time to rest and if it means taking a few days and going on holiday or it simply means stealing a nap in between uh work and and household chores or uh just you know trying to go to bed earlier every night or just you know soaking yourself in a bathtub and allowing the stress to uh suck, be sucked out of your life and um just you know 
just try to take this time that you need for you right now. This is so important. And the ideas and the clarity that you need are going to come through here. So the other thing I'm hearing here is that if you don't take this time out, okay, you're not going to be able to unlock the healing that needs to take place in your life right now. So you're going to be going through your life, you know, going through the doll drums, doing the mundane stuff, doing whatever it is that you need to do. And you're going to be fine and you're going to be good. But right now to be able to unlock that which you seek to unlock that part of you which feels so lonely and feels so lost and that part of you that is searching for a kind of love that you haven't yet had but you dream of for you to unlock that love you need to give yourself this time to be naked with yourself and I don't mean that literally although it might uh, apply to you but to be naked with yourself in that to be honest with yourself to be raw with your emotions to be able to feel so step out of the mundane step out of your routine and take time to actually um you know to to give yourself what it is that you need because it's in that time you know that you are actually going to be able to feel what it is that you really need and if you do meditation regularly and as a routine then step out of that too because that's not helping you at this moment okay uh it's not going to help you because whatever is routine is not going to help you at this moment because you need to really step out of your your routine the other thing i'm hearing right now is and i'm not saying meditation is not good obviously it's really good and will really help you but the kind of meditation you need here is it's like you need to go and lay down and for two or three hours and you need to actually just see what comes to your mind and not actively be trying to meditate, not actively be trying to clear things or to do something, not to be doing anything right now. You need not to be doing, but you need to be receiving and receiving is an important part of your healing process at this moment. Okay. And if you need help with regard to this, then ask for that. Do not refrain from asking for help if you need it, but take what you need for yourself and that th and this time is also a good time for you to be alone uh in order to replenish yourself um there's one other thing i heard here uh, i just need to remember it all right for those of you who are goal oriented and you're wanting to get to a certain place uh, I've said this already, but put it in the back burner, but just really don't care about it right now. It's not your focus. Yes, you may have a deadline. Yes, you may have something important that's coming up that you need to be uh, successful at. But for the moment, take this time to go inward. Because what I'm hearing is that when you do this, um, it's going to bring you some kind of, it's going to bring up some emotions that you didn't even know were there, that you might have had some idea that was there and you thought you might have dealt with it already, but it actually is going to bring up something that is so raw and so, it so makes you so vulnerable and you really need to work with that. You really need to let go of that hurt and let go of that pain and just, it's like just needing to release that, okay? And this is part of what you need to do right now. And this is going to help you to restore yourself and replenish yourself. And then you can go on again. So that's my message for those of you who come by today and have chosen this uh, deck here. And I thank you all for coming by. I thank you. Uh, I thank you all to, uh, to all the new subscribers and to my loyal subscribers. Thank you for being there. And yes, I do apologize for not being able to uh, upload more regularly at this moment. I... I'm an energy worker and I need to work with the energies and be, uh, uh, I need to work, I need to feel, that it needs to feel right for me before I do something. And so uh, this is uh, why I haven't been uh, uploading robotically as I have when I began the channel, but I will come back to it in the future. And I do hope that these um, Oracle card readings here are of value to you. And thank you also for all the likes and the comments and the um yeah i appreciate all of that and i do read them even if i haven't been replying recently as regularly uh as diligently as i used to so uh thank you very much for all of that and wishing you a fabulous week ahead may you have all the strength and all the love and all the blessings that you need to go forward and to do whatever it is that you need to do whether it is to accomplish something whether it is simply to restore yourself Okay, so blessings abound from Kismet Rising.